Hello everybody, this is Yo-Yo Fries, and guess what I'm playing? Yes, Modern for 3, yay! Uh, haters don't hate, Modern for 3 is a great game. And the quality right now, I'm looking at it on my screen, it looks amazing with the Elgato. Before Modern for, because Modern for 3 was always like a dull, boring, desert color-ish. And it looked terrible with the Roxio, but with the Elgato, it actually looks really good. I don't know about you, but just watching in HD. Recently, I've been watching a lot of movies and TV shows and a bunch of other crap I can't even keep track of. But I just figured I would share them with you and um, tell me what you think, your opinions on what shows or movies you guys want to watch in the description. I really want to hear those. So, uh, f movies, yeah. Starting with, this uh, came out a while back, The Hunger Games. Um, The Hunger Games, what should I say about it? It is a pretty good movie, but pretty good is not good enough for standards of yo-yo fries. I mean, my theory is, if the movie is just like a movie by itself, then pretty good is good enough. But if the movie, if you're making a movie out of a book, it better be goddamn amazing, movie makers. It better be. But The Hunger Games, I just didn't feel like, um, oh, it's about the same level as the book, I'll give them that. But I was disappointed that they didn't show a lot of the stuff the book did, like, because they can't, if if they did, it would be rated R instead of PG-13. But I wanted to see the R version of the movie. Did you know that The Hunger Games, when it first came out, it was rated R, but then the movie producers or someone said, no, this is not going to work. It's not going to appeal to parents to let their kids watch the this. So they made they nerfed it down to a PG-13. I, I would pay money to see the rated R version of Hunger Games. Moving on. Argo is a new Oscar winner uh, this year. It's pretty new, relatively new, and a lot of my friends recommended it. They were like, this movie is so good, it's amazing, and I watched it. And it wasn't bad, it w I liked it, I really liked it. Uh, but I think people were exaggerating when they said it was like super good, the best movie of the year. That's not what I felt about it. I don't really know what the best movie of the year is. There really isn't one. So, I'm just going to talk about Argo since it's so viral and popular. Uh, I suggest you watch it. It's about basically uh, this guy, CIA agent, has to rescue six hostages in Iran. But what I didn't understand was why were they so focused on getting these six people out instead of the, like, the 50 other people trapped in the embassy. Oh, okay. Now we're doing some Black Hats 2 gameplay. Because I just wanted to put these two gameplays together since they were both short and uh, the, the guns were very similar, the ACR and the Peacekeeper, if you look at it closely. Okay, back to the topic. Uh, for TV shows, The Walking Dead, of course. Uh, the Walking Dead was a, always a great show, but recently it just went from a great show to a average to not so good show. And that's here's the reason, guys. Um, what should have been in one episode, they put it into three different episodes. I know, I understand they're desperate for ideas and they can't like fill up all the s episodes because there's only like a certain amount of episodes in one season. And they gotta fill those episodes with content, but th the past three s episodes, they were just not working with me. Like, if you're gonna re release one episode every week, I better see some, um, <laughs> some initiative and some like well thought planning but th they just like made the story so slow and I was like oh, wow this is not worth watching at all so I really do hope seeing The Walking Dead having more content in each episode instead of spreading them out into different episodes next Game of Thrones oh my god I just love BBC shows <laughs> the British shows are awesome next to Sherlock Game of Thrones is probably the best uh, it's very gory, a lot of nudity, but that's not the only reason that makes the show great. <laughs> the characters turn a good show into an amazing show, and in Game of Thrones, there are so many characters. That's the only downside about it, I couldn't keep track of all of them, but each character has their own personality, they're very well done, very well developed, uh, they, and they're round characters, they change a lot. And they have different sides to them. It's not like one person is specifically bad and one person's the good guy. No, there's like so many different sides and so many different ways you can view each character. And um, they change a lot, quite a lot. So, so one scene he's torturing this guy and then the next scene he's playing with his daughters in the backyard. 
and one scene, someone would be, uh, I guess, very loyal to the crown, being awarded, and the next scene, they get um, murdered or executed for treason. It, I mean, it's like that. And they kill off a lot of characters, believe me. So, yeah, keep that in mind. I think this concludes my little mini-review of shows and movies. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think. And right now, there will be anno two annotations. One is a shout-out video to Rough Puff Gaming. He'll be posting a video of mine on his channel as well, so go check him out. And the other one is Maximum Caliber, an awesome Call of Duty show. If you haven't seen it, here's the first episode on screen. Go click on that. And also, I recently downloaded this thing on my phone called Screen Recorder, or no, Display Recorder. Uh, it lets you record apps, so that means I can play any iPhone games and upload them to Gamers Toast as well. So please suggest games on the phone. Yo, yo, fries out. Kill confirmed. Wanna get paid? Move it! Never